welcome to all students today we will do a very fruitful topic we will going to start to solve test paper 1 today so i will tell you each one topic with the all rules and we will complete this according in the next okay so let's begin so first question first exercise is about do as directed do as directed this is on your page number 130 okay this test paper is in your book on page number 130 so do do as directed so in which first question is about the plurals so what is the plurals when we change one noun into more than one so it being a plural so Uh, for example lorry lorries lorry is about a one thing and when we put s ya es after each noun so it begin to plural so let's begin first topic it is about plural one is lorry so here is y in the end so what is the rule we remove y and put i e s after it so lorry lorries next is life so here which rule i will follow because this word is ending with f e so we will remove f e and put v e s life lives okay next is mouse so this is irregular noun so it is not following any rule so we will change in a plural like mice mouse become mice now next is tomatoes tomato so here in the and is o as a verb so what we will do we will put e s to make it plural tomato be tomatoes next is ship so this is a irregular noun it can't be changed it will be same in the singular and same in the plural so we will write again ship for ship next is cookie so here we can make it with the helping of s it be cookies we put s after it because e is already given there okay so second topic is about female names so what is female names females name means the name of feminine so we will change the gender according to it because masculine means a male person and feminine for the female person so we will write all the feminine names after each so let's begin one is tiger so it being tigers okay second is nephew it be niece next is bachelor it become spinster next is gender it be in feminine goose next is monk it become nun next is bore it become so so this way we can change all the feminine gender according to each now come to the b exercise of this topic this is about punctuation 
mark so i i already tell you this what we can it punctuation mark so in it students this is called full stop okay this is called capital letter okay this is called question mark okay so where we will use we will use in the all sentence starting form as a capital letter because all sentence is beginning from the capital letter and end with the full stop in a simple sentence but in the question asking sentences we put question mark in the end so let's begin first is here in this i can speak english hindi and tamil say so here we will remove the all errors and complete it according with the correct punctuation mark so first letter should be capital so we will put i can speak here is an english is as a we will put a as a capital letter because it is the name of one subject okay so we put uh, we will write english in a capital letter again hindi again in capital and tamil also these are the languages and the name of subject also so we will write in capital form now second we are leaving for uti on friday so here students we will remove the errors and write again first letter should be capital so we write capital here we are leaving for uti uti is the play name of the place so we should do it capital uti okay and here is the friday is the name of the day so it also become write in a capital so in this way you will complete all this exercise okay next exercise number c underline the common nouns and circle the proper nouns in these sentences so this topic is about noun so what is noun noun is the name of person place thing and animal so in common noun common noun are general names and proper noun are special name so what is the special name the particular person name thing of thing place animal the for the particular one and for the general or the group the name of the group we can use common so i am writing here common noun common noun means general name and proper noun means special names so identify in e sentence so firstly i am write first sentence mr das teaches us music so here mr das is the name of a one person so this is a special name so we will do circle on it okay here is teaches as a verb us is a pronoun and here is again the music is the name of noun and this is the how many types of noun music so this is a general name so we should underline it as a common noun this is a proper noun and this is the common noun second one kavita and rita are playing badminton 
इंटर्न naming noun naming so this is a proper noun specific name so we put circle on it as a proper noun rita again as a proper noun but badminton is the general name of the game so we will do underline it and again the park so in this way you will complete this exercise we will put circle on the special names and underline on the general names now next exercise number d choose the correct option okay choose the correct option in all the topic all the exercise depends on the pronoun so what is pronoun pronoun are the words that use in the place of noun but in each sentence we will choose a correct pronoun word for each sentence so let's begin this topic is about pronoun okay so i am writing only answers are blank going to the music concert this saturday and in this the two options are here you and her so which one is correct for the sentence are you going kya ye humse question puch raha hai are you going to the music concert so this word is you is the correct word for this sentence now second This is my uncle's house. Blank was bought last year. ये जो word है हम use करेंगे for the house. So her is used for the here are two option her and it. But her is used for the person and it used for the non living thing. And this sentence is about the uh, non living thing. So which word is perfect? It. Okay. It. Next is. Ashima and Nisha are going singers. Are good singers. Blank can also dance well. So here we will choose correct pronoun word for both of these girls. So she is not perfect. She is used for one person. So we will use for two person they. Okay. In this included also again next. I love to see blank perform in school function. Uh, again, we will use the correct pronoun from both person, her and them. For the options, her and them, which one is perfect? Them. Okay. Next is blank and Tina. Teen, so here one person is intro, uh, introducing himself. I am Tina. Next is blank study in the class second. Again, she is telling about herself. So again, we will use I here. Next is Kanika is my Kanika is my cousin. Blank lives in the Bengaluru with blank parents. So this sentence is about the Kanika for the second person. So what we will use she for a girl we use she lives in Bengaluru with her. parents okay next is my elder sister gifted blank a guitar on my birthday she gifted a guitar to me so we will choose this word she gifted a guitar to me so according to this you will complete this exercise now next exercise is e filling the blanks using adjectives form of the box So firstly we should know about what are adjectives adjectives are the words that tell us that describe the noun and pronoun okay adjective words are describing words okay so what will will be the perfect so here are few options about this exercise so we will choose perfect describing word for each sentence okay let's begin adjective 
One, that is a blank knife. Use it carefully while you cut fruits. So, this word is about describing us about a knife. So, knife is a sharp or blunt. Okay. So, here in the option is word is given sharp. So, we write sharp knife. So, use it carefully while you cut fruits. Second is, this is blank question. We are not able to solve it. Ye kis tane ka question hai? This is a puzzle question. Yeah, this is a difficult question. So, here in the option, difficult word is given. So, we will use it. Difficult. Third is, how the uh, girl's eyes and the hair? The girl's has brown eyes and black hair. Okay? Number four is He is carrying a basket full of Which type of mangoes? Raw mangoes Kachi mangoes Mangoes liye hui hai Next is I saw a black film with my brother last evening Aapne kaisi film dekhi? Exciting Film last evening Next is elephant have which type of ears? Big ears and low trunk. So students I hope this topic already taught you in each uh, uh, classes. So you will complete this with the help of video and PDF. Thank you. Have a nice day.